another Saturday, another Power Ranger topic to talk about. And I hinted it last time and like, why not? Let's do it. Of course, down below, you can definitely talk about ones that I most likely missed because I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss some good ones because I've missed a few things. So definitely comment down below anything I missed. So I guess the first, excuse me, the first season of Power Rangers is, of course, the Green Ranger that yes, like the Green Ranger, the Green Candles, evil with green with evil, something like that. And then when Lord Zed came and Piranha Head, holy frig, that was something too. And then, of course, like I mentioned, the Green Candle, but the Green Candle, that was more sad than actually being like very eventful. I mean, it is eventful, but it's truly sad. And of course, like I said, when I'm calling him Shellhead, but that's not his real monstrous name. But it's like when he took Tommy's powers completely. Yeah. And then... Goadar coming in rubbing salt on that that uh, is like holy freaking in he gets beaten the crap out of that was freaking awesome and like seriously good stuff oh uh, let's see um white ranger of course when white ranger comes of course that's something uh i don't really remember much of the season three but season three it kind of rubs me the wrong way the fact of the punches is like what the fuck it's like yes i do get to have a moment to say what the fuck if you can say oh my gosh lord zed scary we i can say oh my gosh those punches are freaking damn intimidating as fuck <laughs> it's like you're giving me nightmares so it's like they can get rid of those shit because that freaking is annoying and also intimidating as fuck <laughs> so he's intimidating as fuck um then we get to Zio. Zio is, of course, the Gold Ranger. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, like, the, the in between, the fact that the Zords got destroyed, the Zio Christians got collected, and then, oh, it looks like the command center has a basement, and it's like, oh, that's good. Thank goodness. And not to mention, um, Goldar and Rito was able to go into the command center without a power coin. What the fuck? I thought you said, of course, Ivan News did the same thing. So it's like, yeah, well, freak that freaking um, thought. Yeah, of course, Zeo, I think, is the Gold Ranger. That's about the best thing that we got. Gold Ranger, also the, um, I guess the Super Zeo Zords, but that doesn't really count. And then. What about when Tommy got uh, taken? That's like the very end of it. It's like Tommy got taken, brainwashed, and then, oh my gosh, what the frick? Not to mention um, <clears throat> Billy's departure from the thing, going to space, and then coming back to space, and then going back to space completely now. It's like, yeah, that was that was an eventful moment. Uh, let's see, then Turbo. Now, that one's where I'm like, I'm kind of drawing a blank. It's like another time where it's like, I don't remember. It's fuzzy. Maybe Fox Kids failed me at that point. Or maybe it's because I had more stuff to fucking do because I sucked. <laughs> uh, um, the movie, of course, is one big thing that happened. Uh, let's see. I remember this episode of Arutan, but that doesn't really count. The Phantom Ranger, oh, holy freak, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, holy freak, what the fuck? And then um, Blue Centaurian actually here to tell us a message, which we didn't really get to see the message. But considering, you know, it might just be the fact that there's an evil cabal going on. The first episode of, in the last episode of Turbo, of course, is crazy. And the first episode of In Space is crazy as hell. What about the reveal of Zane? Oh, wow, that was crazy. And what about the fact that Zane's morpher was on the fritz and he had to go on a mountain and charge it in a thunderstorm? Yeah, I don't remember that, kids. I don't actually would recommend that. If, like, my phone is dead. It's a thunderstorm. Okay, hold on. Beetle bonder, beetle blast. It's like, oh, frick. Kid dead, kid dead, kid struck by lightning, his phone's destroyed. Uh, Astronomer's actually coroned, that was a sh bombshell, the fa and of course the finale is crazy as hell as well. Okay, yeah, don't forget about Psycho Rangers. Of course, the Psycho Rangers need to be mentioned. Of course, the end and episode, the last episode of that was 
definitely one episode one thing to talk about too it's like yeah definitely then lost galaxy of course is the beginning episode oh my gosh and <laughs> freaking the, the, the freaking place got freaking turned into stone like as if pompeii what the fuck and then they got the magnet defender <clears throat> red defender reveals that he actually is using mike as a puppet and then mike becomes the magnet defender holy frick mike actually sacrificed himself to save Terra Avenger, um, what about the Lost Galacta Beasts? And that was a shocker. Um, of course, the team up, and then Kendra's killing herself. <laughs> it's like she didn't kill herself; she sacrificed herself just to save Cassie. <clears throat> and of course, Corone, um, aka used to be Astronema, becomes the new Pink Ranger. That's freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, and of course the end, yeah, the end one is very, very unbelievable. The battleizer that Leo got and taking him down. Then of course, Lightspeed Rescue. I don't think Lightspeed Rescue, the first episode was very eventful. Sorry, sorry to be a jerk, but I think it's not very eventful. And then you have the reveal of the titanium power and that, Apparently, the captain had a son, and his son's alive, and the bad guy's actually been training his son to be evil and fight the crap out of him, and he becomes the Titanium Ranger. What about the Super Train Megazord, the biggest one of them all? In quotations, the biggest one of them all. Love th- I love that Zord. I wish I got that Megazord. I almost got it, too. My dad sucks ass. I could say rest in peace. <laughs> I should. Rest in peace. But still, though, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? What about the crossover? The crossover, most of all, has to be the fact of the lights of Orion passed on to the, um, yeah, the Lightspeed Rescue Megazord. Not to mention, in the beginning, the original episode of Lost Galaxy, Leo didn't pull a sword out. So we don't know if he's truly worthy, but I guess since he was able to morph, he was worthy. But this is the first time in a crossover of Lightspeed Rescue, he actually pulled the Quasar Saber out from the freaking stone, showing that he's definitely worthy in the first time ever he pulled it out, which is a fun trick question that you can actually ask on Trivia Night if you want to do some Ranger questions. It's like that. I know for a fact that has to be a trick question people ask. I know it has to be one and part of that one. The Super Train Megasaur getting destroyed. Oh my gosh, what the freak. Um, Brian? Not Ryan, Ryan. Turns out he gets cursed after he actually becomes good. And then, of course, he has to fight the Cobra tattoo that's on him. And then the ending, I think, is something to behold, of course. Then after that, oh my gosh, I forgot about Time Force. Damn, I forgot about Time Force in the other video. Damn, well, that happens. But anyways, yeah, um... I guess the first episode is one, and then the crazy part is Wes has a clone in the future, or not clone, but a twin, or basically his distant relative from the future. So he's technically dating his great, 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 great grandson's used to be fiance. Do we never actually address this crap? I'm pretty sure we never address this crap. It's like, is he actually related to West? We don't freaking know. I think we never asked that crap, did we? Or uh, I never asked it, or no one actually gave me the answer to a question I never got to ask yet. Well, anyways, um, Titanium Ranger power showing up. <clears throat> the Titanium Megazor, I mean, uh, Titan. Not Tang Team, oh my gosh, Quantum Ranger. His Megazord. Oh my gosh, that was crazy as freak. <laughs> um, what about the fact of Wes, his dad, finding out that he is a Ranger? <laughs> that was crazy. Anything else? I, oh, yeah. And of course, the last episode. That was crazy. Um, Did they actually? I think they might have had a crossover. I think think they might have but either way um crossover let's just add that in there just in case i'm not sure 
the last episode truly was something to behold. And of course, the whole fiasco of Wes's, the actors, his wife is like, oh my gosh. And it's like, yeah, she, we didn't actually get to see Jen and Wes kiss, which that's robbing. That's robbing us completely. They only get a freaking damn hug. It's like, yeah, you know, it's made it worse than that. That um, Craig of the Creek did the same thing and made it even worse than that. So the good news is that congratulations. When it comes to kids TV, it took decades to be able to top how messed the fuck up it is. Like, for instance, JP, he saved the queen. And what he got, he didn't get a kiss on the forehead. He got a nice firm handshake from a queen. That's all he got. And Craig got boots so he can walk in water. Um, Chelsea got a brand new car slash chariot. So it's like, my goodness. Yeah, they topped your crap. They finally, someone finally topped your damn crap, man. Someone finally topped it. And I think that's a good video to say who actually was able to top what they did. <laughs> hey, at least. Is better than Doug, where it's like we just got told that there's gonna be a first date, and it's like we don't even know if they kissed or not. So it's like they kind of did somewhat, they kind of did somewhat tie or at least did more than you. But, anyways, then we get Lost Galaxy. How far do we get on this? Okay, I'm, I'm good, I can make it a little bit further. Actually, I was stopping Lost Galaxy. I mean, Wild Force. So Wild Force, of course, the beginning one. And then, of course, Wes, I mean, Wes is, my gosh, what was his name? Cole's, Cole's parents, their story. And didn't mention about the backstory of the bad guys in Time Force, but I think that might be a good one to talk about, too. That was a good memory, a moment. And then, of course, this one with Master Orc, that was a good moment. Um, What about... um? The Lunar Wolf Ranger. That storyline is pretty damn awesome, too. That was pretty good. Uh, anything else besides that? I think the whole storyline with Zanaku and stealing the Z wild zords and stuff like that, that was pretty well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, the ending. Wait, did they team up with Time Force? Maybe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, maybe. So, yeah, include that. It was like, maybe. I don't really remember it for sure. But, anyways, um, they do have some good moments. I just can't really remember the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's more character. They did some character building in the episodes themselves. So, you do have to mention that. And. I will say that the ending and especially the part of where they not Rangers anymore, many wild Zoras got extinct as if Zan as Thanos. It's like, Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, they upped the ante on that one. That was, that was a pretty crazy up the ante, but yeah, that's about all for that moment. I guess next we'll talk about the Disney era because I'm running out of time, but yeah, I mean, there were some good moments, moments I still remember to this day, and I would still say the part of Silver Titanus that shows up in Lost Galaxy, everything that got cut, and then the, re the reveal of who the Phantom Ranger is. In a way, I really wish they did that, but on the other hand, I'm okay the way it is. It's just that the toy that they came up with, Silver Titanus, Ooh boy, that sucks for people who actually bought the toy and it's like it didn't even show up in the TV show, but hey, at least you got something new. I don't know, man. Note I didn't even mention the fact of Titanus or I think the Dragon Zord should be mentioned. It's like, yeah, the real Dragon Zord exists and in Titanus that part. It's like I don't even remember that episode, so that's why I don't have any relationship or connection to Titanus. So yeah, sorry to be a jerk, but that's how it goes. <laughs>